Shaylee was like, let's do waffles. And I'm like, yeah. So that is breakfast this morning. I put Bishkoff cookie spread, just a little. Um, let's answer some questions. There's a lot of them. Let's see what we pull up. I asked you questions on Instagram and Facebook, so let's get going. Um, this is for Radar's Mom 99. She asks, your mashed potatoes always look so creamy and delicious. How do you make them? Do you use a hand mixer? You are the best mom. You encourage me. Oh, you're sweet. I'm not the best, but I try to be good. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people ask about my mashed potatoes. I find it funny because my mashed potatoes are really boring. Derek's are really good. He like If they're sour cre or cream cheese, and he'll throw yumminess in there. I'm boring, but... <laughs> you can't see. I know. Um, I honestly will just take a mixer like... Depends on my mood. I will mash them first after I boiled them and then rinsed out the water. I'll mash them with like this thing. And then I put butter in there, salt, and then I'll get my hand mixer and mix them. And then I add milk. I like them creamy. I I don't like a lumpy mashed potato. Unless they're with, like made with like red potatoes and they're made for that consistency. They have like the skins on them, but I love my mashed potatoes creamy. This waffle is amazing. <laughs> you guys, I spent the whole day yesterday in bed. The whole day. I did not feel good. I was a little bit gassy. I have no idea. I just did not feel good. And no, I'm not pregnant. And good question. Somebody asked about that. Um, this is from S. Frederick 43. And she, she has a lot of kids. Do you have eight? No, you have 16, right? You have 16 kids. Um, she asks, are you done having kids? Yeah, I'm done. This body's not producing anymore. So if you ever think, is she pregnant? Nope. Have we, have we, you know, gotten Derek work done? No, but that's going to happen. But I am done having kids. I feel completed. I feel like the family's done. Um, this is delicious. Um, I want to put it in my mouth. No, but I feel we're done. We have talked about opening our home up to foster care when um, the kids are gone. Um, I d yeah, for right now, everything going on in our life, I'm done. We feel done. Derek would like to bring in older kids into our home later down the road. Um, Maybe when Shaylee is the only one and is older, um, we're going to talk about that. We're going to pray about that some more. But right now, we're here. We're all here. I feel we're all here. And if I'm wrong, and but God has a funny sense of humor, but I really don't need you to be humorous in the next little while, God. <laughs> but right now, we feel peaceful. We feel done. So, this is delicious. My friend Jana from cook for, cook for My Kids asks, do you love me? I love you so much. I love you more than this waffle that has Bishkoff cookie spread on it. I love you. Oh, this really is amazing. <laughs> mm, so good. Mm -mm. And I know you're going to ask me, Kimmy, what's your waffle recipe? Well, today, I did not make it from scratch. Today, I cheated. Today, I used this. Uh -huh. Am I going to have a food baby looking pregnant belly today? Yup. Don't care. Anna Howard on Facebook asks, do you love your new washer and dryer? Oh, yeah, so much. I love it so 
freaking much. It cleans. It actually cleans our clothes. Like, D Derek and I must have been living in dirty clothes for a while because since we got these, it's amazing. Everything is beautiful and clean. Smells good. So happy. The Speed Queen machines are awesome. Claire Devlin Frazier on Instagram asks, what do you think your kids will have for jobs, basically, when they're older? <laughs> this one here, Shaylee, I think she'll be a little chef. Are you going to cook when you're older? Mm -hmm. She loves being in the kitchen with me and cooking. I wouldn't be surprised if um, she went $100. Okay, chew your food. I wouldn't be surprised if she went into the culinary world. Okay, chew your food. Um, let's see, Jonah, um, we see and he wants, he already knows what he wants to do. He wants to go what into the- What about you? That's me. Let me talk, okay? <laughs> she, uh, she, he wants to go into the military. So, we're going to be bringing things <coughs> into his life that will help him and see if that's what he wants to do and if he likes it. And so we have friends, I really can't go into it, we have friends who are very deep into the military. They, anywho, I, re I really can't go into it. Yes. He's gonna experience some things soon, so. Uh, but yeah, we see and him. I'm gonna go to school. Yeah. So we see him going into the military and pursuing that aspect. Callie, we see, um, yeah. she'll be, be going into cosmetology. She already wants to do hair and nails. She enjoys it. And she knows that um, later in life when she does become a mom, it's something that she could still do while being a stay-at-home mom. She's so awesome. So I see her pursuing that. And I've always thought that since she was little too. And um, she's awesome. Boston? I don't know. I, we're going to have to ask Daddy that question. No, you finish eating. Um, Boston? <coughs> I don't know. You know, I could see him working with kids. I could see him being like a mentor or like like a coach. Like, he's just so sweet and encouraging. So it'll be interesting to see with him. But, yep. Boston, really don't know. Shaylee, a chef. Callie, cosmetology. And Jonah, military. I Malone 2011 on Instagram asks, do your kids have chores and how did you start them on chores like how young well we do have a chore system and i do have a vlog on this and i'll post a link um here's what the zones look like um so each zone we um assign a child to the zone and then they have daily tasks in that zone and once a week deep cleaning in that zone we started teaching them when they were young they could wipe something down they could put their toys away we just started young introducing right now um ba jonah is learning to do the laundry callie already knows how to do that uh, i've actually been teaching slowly jonah how to cook um and Callie as well. She could cook a, um, pretty much a lot of my dishes. Um, and so, like mowing the lawn, shoveling, we just introduce them and have them do it. Um, now, they have, they have their daily chores, um, but there are some days when we are just so flooded with sports and we're so flooded with homework. Homework always comes first. That those things will be in the forefront before they do a chore. So there's a few days in the week they don't do chores just because they are so behind on homework or they are deep in a test or whatever. I mean, like Callie right now, she's got a full schedule at school, but she didn't take gym her uh, freshman year. And she didn't have room for gym this year in her schedule. So she has to do gym online through an online course. And so she's a busy bee. So... Um, homework always comes first, trumps over chores. So, but on the weekend, they are working. If they don't get a lot of stuff done during the week for chores for me, it's not a big deal because guess what? They're doing it on the weekend. So, yes, my do, my do kids. <laughs> yes, my kids clean. That is like a hot topic here on my channel. Um, not all of you. You guys are so sweet and kind, but there are some of you or slash trolls that just jump on my channel and find me for the first time and ask, um, it gets, you know, some people's 
feathers ruffled for some reason. Do you kids clean? Do they help you? Oh my gosh. You guys, I show you like a snippet of my life. Of course my kids clean. Of course they have chores. You know, so yeah, they do. Ta-da! Did my hair and um, I just like it. It's up, but it looks fancy, like I'm fancy, but I'm not. Okay, Don Leo one on Instagram asks, what did I want to be or do after I was done with school? Well, I did go to college for a little bit and I wanted to get into filmography and so it's, <laughs> Not really weird that I'm doing YouTube because I wanted to do something where I could be editing or filming with the camera and um, I didn't know what I wanted to do with that but I thought at one point I would be a wedding videographer and so yeah so YouTube is not really too weird for me um, but um, but first and foremost I knew that this job but I really ca call it a calling to be a mom was really the number one thing I wanted to do. Um, and so I am thrilled that I get to do my filmography or whatever you want to call this. I still get to edit. I still get to film. It brings me joy. It brings income to my family. Um, and But I get to still be a stay-at-home mom and be the housewife. So I'm really... I am living what I dreamt of, but on my own terms, which is so nice. Um, but yeah, I wanted to learn about editing and film school and all that. And and now I get to do it, but learning on my own and I love it. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to do when I was little. I wanted to be an actress, but <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm thrilled that I am getting to do what I wanted to do in college, but being a stay-at-home mom, being a wife, and still being able to do it all, which I think is fantastic. Now, there's so many things I want to pursue, you guys. I do have dreams still. I still, you know, there's things I want to do. Um, I want to go to culinary school. I don't know what school, where... You know, even if it's just at the local college, like, I just want to learn more in cooking. I don't care how it's done, you know, I just, um, that's what I want to do. I want to learn more about cooking and what pairs good with what and use ingredients that I never thought of using before and just, you know, so yeah. And I probably will do that when Shaylee is older or I don't know I don't know when you know um I don't know when I think maybe honestly when Jonah and Callie are out of the nest especially well Jonah Callie is very soon out of the nest but more than likely when Jonah's out of the nest because then there is um not so much 
going into two children, money-wise. Do you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's probably when it's going to be. Um, so, but yeah. CR Distatio on Instagram asks, what is one of my favorite and least favorite things about being a mom? I think she said, or stay-at-home mom. Um, that is interesting question. A very good one. Um, I love being home with the kids. I love that I'm available for them when they need me. I love. Um, I just. I just love smooching on them and loving on them and just watching them reach their goals and watching them learn something and my least favorite is the monotony I mean it can get monotonous a lot of the time but that's why um I love YouTube because it breaks it up for me and it keeps me going and so I just find things that bring me joy and during the monotony of it um, well, and honestly, too, let's, if we want to get candid, one of my least favorite things about being a parent is letting go. Um, I knew that, okay, and, there, and I guess letting it go could be very broad. Like, Callie went out with friends um, over the weekend with, in the, with boys, and they're just friends, but with boys and in a car like the teenagers driving that's hard that got my anxiety up um where's my eyeshadow oh i forgot to put concealer on what where's my favorite eyeshadow where is it <laughs> um and it, it's hard to let her grow up and be who she is and, and let go, you know, it's hard. Also, the part of letting go is um, picking your battles. Like, um, we have in our head, like, how we want things and how perfect we want things. And, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes when you're just starting out, you're like, oh, I'm going to get married, I'm married. Awesome, honey's gonna come home from work and we're gonna have dinner made and it's gonna be sweet. We're gonna read bedtime stories and take baths, cuddle, and go to bed. You know, and when they get older, they're gonna come home from school and sit down and do their homework and they're never gonna talk back and it's gonna be so harmonious. I just, it's gonna be great. Yeah, you know what's in between all that? Frustration, uh, tears, um, you know, I hate you, and uh, you know, and in it's it's hard. It it it's so hard. Um, be prepared as becoming a parent to be hurt a lot, and the person that is going to hurt you the most, yeah, your children can hurt you and hurt your feelings, but the person that's going to hurt you the most, I've been learning, is you. <laughs> Because you're, we set up such expectations of ourselves. I do. Oh my gosh. And so I've learned to let go of a dream, this beautiful scenario that I would love to have a step for life. Um, but it's not how it is. We're meant to have trials. We're meant to deal with crap. Our kids are meant to go through hard things. And we're here on earth to learn and become stronger and draw closer to our Heavenly Father. That is the reason. And so letting it go is a lot of the time just letting go of those weird, um, not weird. I mean, they're nice, like such high expectations of ourselves. So, um, and as I am doing this, I'm not perfect at it, but I am noticing that as I am doing this, my anxiety is getting better and cutting the caffeine, but my anxiety my lip is peeling. Oh my gosh. But my anxiety is getting better because I'm not putting such lofty expectations on my life, on my husband, on my kids. Like, um, a good thing that I just recently learned from our family therapist was like this one child of ours, 
he is a he is a square peg we're a round hole he's not gonna fit in it and I so badly want him to just slide right in there and it's not gonna happen so why fight it just accept that he's a square peg peg do you get what I'm saying so you could take that analogy and use it however you want to use it but this is what I'm learning as a mom it, and it's hard it's I, I get frustrated with things and I want things to go a certain way I want the house to be clean a certain way I want them to do it it's not gonna happen so just let it go just let it go and this year I'm focusing on um, choosing happiness and uh, if my house is a mess so what we're being happy right you know so that's what I'm so yeah that guy deep gonna put out some frozen scones for the kids so to thaw they're loving these scones so I think we're gonna make it like a Wednesday and a Friday maybe just one day a week little fried scone action after school okay on Instagram from Jay Burnett 441 asks how did you love of apron start well in your the rest of your comment is really funny um, I don't know my grandmother always wore like a house coat and stuff growing up and I don't know um, I've always loved them and then one day I was at Target and I found this apron forever ago this is my first apron you guys it's still ripped I love this thing and I started wearing it around the house and I was like oh my gosh I feel so motivated in this thing and it just got me to do the monotonous things it got me to go through and just do it and yeah so I ever since then I have Lo I forgot to spray the pan. I'm genius, by the way. Um, I, I've ever since then, and it happened not in this house. No, it didn't happen. It happened when we first moved into this house. So when Jonah was two years old, and Jonah is 11 right now. He'll be 12 in March. And once I put that apron on, it was like I could do anything. It just gave me the motivation. It just gave me the drive to get stuff done and so I started wearing them more I fell in love with different patterns different ones and then certain ones because I knew what I wanted in an apron um, and yeah so now it's just like I can't even imagine going a day without an apron on it's just it really motivates me and I noticed it from day one of getting this apron I will never get rid of this apron uh, I do need to mend it though um, but from day one of putting it on I felt like I don't know it put a little pep in my step supermen superheroes they wear capes well I think every woman or mom should have something that's like a cape to them and that's my apron so yep and now the scones are going to rise for like four hours and they'll be ready for after school so we're gonna be yummy snack oh I love it on Instagram from glam underscore mama 23 asks do you ever have days where you feel too tired to take care of the house or do your routines how do you tackle those days I am a stay-at-home mom and sometimes I'm just too exhausted oh I get that yeah, um, in fact, yesterday, you guys, thank goodness I already had a video, the cornbread recipe for you guys, because yesterday I spent the day in my bed. I took Shaylee to school, the kids to school, I came home, and I hopped right back into my bed, turned the TV on, <laughs> took a nap, I just didn't feel good. My, um, it feels like I have an earache, but I know it's not an earache. I think it's my braces, like doing things and anywho. Um, so I did not feel good. And then I had, I did have like cramps and stuff yesterday. And so I spent the day in bed. Um, I was just too tired. I was like, you know, 
there are some days, you guys, where I'm consistently go, go, go and doing, and then I make a video on top of it all, that the next day I could be really exhausted. And so with yesterday, with me not feeling well, I took advantage of the situation and I laid in bed. Um, and then when the kids got home, I laid in bed. Dinner was whatever you wanted because Derek went out to dinner with his family for his dad's birthday. I wasn't able to join him because Jonah had pack night last night where he got his bobcat and a few other awards. He's so cute. Um, and so I um, went to that with him and so we had to kind of split up our evening last night. Well, um... I didn't do anything. The kids ate whatever they wanted. We, I did do homework with them, but I spent the day in bed. Was I fighting off mom guilt and, and guilt? Oh, sure, but who cares? I'm my boss. <laughs> There's no boss over me. You know, I'm the boss. And if I wanna take a day off, then I'm gonna take a day off. And I think it's so important that we do that as moms and and working moms and stay-at-home moms and or women working women you know if or just housewives you know sometimes you just gotta just stop from the monotony and just take a break you know um and that's what i did yesterday and it felt so good but you want to know what today i woke up like okay let's hit it felt great so um yeah so I do that every, seems that I take a day off like that, like at least once every two weeks. I notice my body is just so exhausted that I have to just take a break and um, just stop everything and take time for me. Okay, this is on Instagram from Sickery, Sick Carrie, Six. What does Derek do for a living? Have you ever worked outside of the home? If so, do you ever wish at times you still did? I do have how I'm a stay-at-home mom, two stay-at-home mom videos that I'll link um, where I mention that. But Derek works for a dental software company. And so he manages a team of developers and analysts and yeah. And so that's what he does. And um, I have worked outside the home before with kids. And um, back in the beginning when um, Callie was a baby, I worked um, for a telemarketing company. And then I left that and I worked at the mall and at a jewelry kiosk and um, motherhood. And I stocked up on all maternity clothes. <laughs> and then... Um, Oh gosh, and then I, once we got Jonah, I was home. And then I did work outside the home for a little bit after that at Walmart during one Christmas season. And then I was like, no, I can't do this. This is, this is too much, you know, like trying to juggle it all um, with being a mom, the kids, everything, it was way too much. And I was like, nope, I just need to be home and budget and work around the one income. Now, I um, am an independent Norwex sales consultant and I could do parties outside of the home or just sell online like I'm doing now and then keeping my existing customers that I have now happy. And so that's just what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So that kind of leads into the next question. Okay, this is from Erica Steele on Facebook. Do you make money through YouTube? If so, you plan on doing a video explaining how it works? I'm really not going to do a video on how it works. There's so many people that you can go to, like Tim Schmoyer, De De uh, Devin um, Eves, Daryl Eves. Um, they could tell you how you can make money on YouTube. But I do make money on YouTube. And I monetize the videos, so I get paid on the ads. If you guys click on the ads, I get paid. Just as there's a whole system and really I don't know much about it. I just monetize my videos and so I do get paid every month. Um, I am with a network. They don't do much for me other than maybe bringing brand deals or sponsors to my video and that's an extra way that you can make money. So I know everyone's curious like what do people make on YouTube. Right now you guys, I could pay the mortgage with, and I'll be honest, I could pay the mortgage payment with what I make on YouTube right now which is fantastic. I'm in my home 
I'm filling my life. I get to make friends and share and help women and motivate and why not and get paid for it. So I don't feel bad. A lot of people, you know, feel bad that they do make money on YouTube because uh, they're afraid of the backlash from subscribers about making money on YouTube. I do not feel bad at all. Um, it's a lot of work to make videos and then editing and then uploading and and honestly, I am quite proud of She's in Her Apron. I am proud of what it's, I don't know, slowly evolving to, um, which is just motivating women. Um, and if me folding the clothes, sitting at my kitchen table, talking, helps someone in some way, then awesome. Um, and I, I enjoy watching other YouTubers, and I know that they're making money, but it doesn't bother me. Um, if you're doing what you love to do, and if you get to make friends in the process, that's awesome. So, and then I introduced Norwex on YouTube, and that brings an income too. And so, I'm like I said before, I'm really happy that I have found something where I could be me, and I am me. The only thing that I don't show you is me screaming at my kids sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes the patience just runs out and I will just be like, oh my gosh, will you stop it? And so, that I don't show you. But who you see on camera is who I am. I, I don't hide anything and I am who I am and I, I guess I'm comfortable now in front of the camera. At first it's a little like, you know, scary at first, but... You guys, if you're wondering who she really, I show it to you. I cry on here with you guys. I share what I'm going through and and it's real. Um, I am who I am. I just don't show you me yelling at my kids. <laughs> so, and then there's another question from someone that leads into this. Sharon Fall on Facebook asks, any advice for someone that is wanting to start vlogging? And it's a bit camera shy. I feel vlogging will motivate me to get things done around the house, but I am so camera shy. Oh, I get that. It's You just can't think that there might be who knows how many people watching you. I take it as like there's one person right there in front of me and I'm just talking to him or her. I'm just talking to my best friend. like, And that has like calmed me down and just got me used to it. Like, Think of your best friend and you're just talking to that person and it helps you with it and you'll get comfortable at first I was scared and shy um, but you get used to it and so yeah it's fun okay from on Facebook busy being mom she asks how many hours a week do you spend working on your channel hmm that is a good question well it could take me about an hour um, to edit and upload and that hour is interrupted a lot of the time. <laughs> and then filming, you know, I could be filming just random things in my home all day. But a lot of the clips I don't show you. Um, just, it's amazing like what a video I think is gonna look like and how it evolves once I start editing. Um, but I spend a couple of hours a day, maybe like consistently, probably two or three hours a day on my channel. I don't know. It really depends on like what I'm filming. But it's not anything out of added to what I already do. Like I when I menu plan, I'm like, okay, which of these dishes can I film and show everybody? Like that cornbread, I just didn't decide to make the cornbread out of a whim. I was asked to make cornbread for the family dinner on Sunday. So I found a recipe that I've had pinned on Pinterest and I filmed it for you. And so I really try to make YouTube flow into my daily routine, flow into my life. So it's, you know, maybe sometimes I'll, I'll film something extra, but it's something that I wanted to do and with the kids and things. And so I just make it flow into my life um, and it works out really good. So, yeah. So I'll spend a couple hours a day on YouTube, but it, you know. I just want to get things edited and uploaded before chaos happens and I just don't like being in the office on the computer while I need to be tucking the kids into bed or um, 
being with Derek when he gets home. So it's just finding that balance. And I feel like right now I've got a pretty good groove on it. But some days are better than others. So 